Pakistan Air Force, with its rapidly advancing technological capabilities, could potentially neutralize India's formidable S-400 Triumph air defense systems within the first hour of conflict. The analysis points to a blend of advanced fighter jets, armed drones and cruise missiles in Pakistan's arsenal that could penetrate deep into Indian airspace, bypassing or overwhelming India's state-of-the-art missile defense systems. Pakistan has made significant investments in modernizing its air force, focusing on expanding its capabilities in electronic warfare, stealth technology, precision-guided munitions and unmanned combat aerial vehicles. These advancements have been driven by Pakistan's strategic need to maintain a credible deterrent against India, particularly as the Indian military continues to acquire cutting-edge technology, such as the S-400 Triumph air defense system from Russia. Pakistan's fighter jets, including the JF-17 Thunder and the F-16, are increasingly being equipped with air-launched cruise missiles, such as the RAD-2. These missiles can strike targets deep inside enemy territory with high precision, flying at low altitudes to evade radar detection. With their long-range and stealthy flight profile, these ALCMs could be used to neutralize critical air defense installations, including the S-400's radar stations, in a surprise first strike. Pakistan's acquisition of high-altitude, long-endurance UCAVs such as the Turkish Akuncha and Chinese CH-4 represents a significant force multiplier. These drones can be armed with precision-guided bombs and air-to-surface missiles, allowing them to carry out pre-programmed missions against high-value targets such as radar systems, air defense batteries and command and control centers. The think tank emphasizes that drones due to their low radar signature and ability to loiter for extended periods, could easily overwhelm the S-400 systems by saturating the radar and confusing the missile batteries. The PAF has also reportedly invested heavily in electronic warfare technology, acquiring systems that could be deployed on airborne platforms or integrated into its fighter jets. These systems can jam radar frequencies, disrupt communications, and blind India's air defense network, creating opportunities for Pakistan's cruise missiles and drones to penetrate Indian airspace undetected. The think tank speculates that Pakistan's EW assets could focus on neutralizing the S-400's radar systems, which are critical for tracking incoming threats and guiding missiles toward them. The report outlines a hypothetical scenario in which Pakistan launches a coordinated, multi-dimensional air campaign aimed at overwhelming India's air defense network within the first hour of a conflict. The key to this strategy would be saturating the S-400 system with multiple simultaneous threats, thereby reducing its effectiveness and creating gaps in India's air defense coverage. In the opening moments of the conflict, Pakistan could launch a barrage of air-launched cruise missiles from its fighter jets. These missiles would fly at low altitudes, utilizing terrain-following radar to avoid detection until they are close to their targets. The cruise missiles could be aimed at the S-400's radar systems, which are critical for detecting and tracking incoming threats. By disabling or blinding the radar, Pakistan would significantly reduce the S-400's ability to engage other targets. Immediately following the cruise missile strike, Pakistan could deploy its fleet of UCAVs to attack other critical components of the S-400 system, such as its missile launchers and command centers. The drones, flying at different altitudes and speeds, would present a challenging target for the S-400, which may struggle to track and engage multiple threats simultaneously. Moreover, the drones could be equipped with electronic warfare systems to further confuse and disrupt India's air defense network. As the S-400 systems become overwhelmed and unable to respond effectively, Pakistan's fighter jets could launch a final wave of precision-guided bombs and missiles to take out any remaining air defense installations. The JF-17 and F-16 fighters, equipped with electronic warfare pods, would have a high chance of evading detection by the now compromised S-400 radars.
While the think tank's analysis presents a chilling scenario for India, it is important to note that such an operation would be fraught with challenges and risks. The S-400 is designed to operate as part of a broader integrated air defense system, which includes multiple layers of radar and missile systems. In a real-world scenario, the S-400 would likely be supported by other air defense assets, such as the Akash surface-to-air missile system and fighter jet patrols, which could engage incoming threats before they reach the S-400. Thank you.